Hello guys and girls, thank you so much for joining me, how are we all doing? My name's Didi, I'm a class 2 HTV vlogger, but at the moment I am halfway through my class 1 training, my class C plus E training, and I've been given permission by my instructor to record the reversing manoeuvre. So I'm going to do that with a camera strapped on my head, so you're going to get it from a driver's point of view, I'm going to point out everything that you need to look out for. I'm going to point out when you need to turn your steering wheel, how much you need to turn your steering wheel, all that good stuff. And I'm going to try and record a couple of variables because although it is exactly the same as the Class C test, the reversing manoeuvre, it's exactly the same apart from you get a bit of a bigger distance to do it in. The thing with C plus E is that it is never the same twice, ever. If you put a little tiny kink in your trailer, it can make such a massive difference when you come to do the first step of the procedure, which is exactly what I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna see if I can put some of them variables in to show you how to get out of them if you experience them. But it is very straightforward, very basic. It's not really gonna help that much in the real world, I don't think. You know, it's, it's just a procedure. There's very little skill involved. It's not difficult to do. So the next time you see me, we'll be inside the vehicle. But just remember, I am still learning. I'm not a know-it-all, I'm doing this to try and help you guys, to give you a bit of guidance, to alleviate some anxiety that you've got about doing it, then you'll be completely fine, completely fine. So we'll make our way to Red Rose now, talk to you guys in a bit. Right, so we're starting off this reversing manoeuvre by driving up towards A1 and A2, I think that's what they're called, and to look in the windscreen mirror, that yellow line, and I want to be as close to A1 as I can be in that mirror there. Now the procedure to getting through this, I'm going to put my window down, as soon as I start rolling, I'm going to put it into crawler gear, crawler gear, like so. Right, so as soon as I start moving now, I'm going to be putting full lock right hand down on so that it puts a left hand kink in the trailer. And what I'm looking for is the V on the trailer and the line that the looking for that so now as soon as I start moving I'm going to put full opposite lock on and then I'm going to look for my yellow line in the panoramic mirror here Duh. but I don't want my trailer to go back crooked the other way so I'm going to keep I'm going to straighten back up but put a bit more right and down on so I can get around the B cone, like so, and then follow it around a little bit more. Now I can get around that B cone nicely, so I'm going to straighten up and go straight back in a straight line. And what I want to show you now while I'm going backwards is how much a little amount of input changes the unit. So what I'm going to do, quarter turn to the left and look how much that changes just off a quarter of a turn of the steering wheel and I've still got a quarter of a turn on so now the trailer's coming round nicely I'm going to look out of the back like so to see where my trailer's actually going and I'm going to start going round with it whilst checking in both my mirrors straight in the steering wheel and just go straight back
into neutral, engine off, get out, and we'll go and have a look how close we are. Oh yeah, nice enough. Not perfectly straight, but it's in. Very nice, very nice indeed. Right, so I'll do it one more time like I did last time for you and try and talk you a little bit more through it again. But I'm going to start off in the garage. Now, if I was starting this on my test, I'd be starting though. I'd be starting just at the side. And all I'd do is just drive in a straight line as close to B cone, which is that cone that's right in front of me there. You want to drive with your left wheel as close to the B cone, which then will put you in as line with the A cone up at the top. But for this mirror, mirror, blind spot, I'm just going to drive out of the garage call it over here and I'm going to get as close to the corn as I can right so this is where you want to be we will start again so crawler gear just because that's the easiest and safest way to do it full oil round check and then as soon as we start moving right hand down to get that bend in the trailer and then we're looking for the line on the headboard to come around whilst checking both sides which is there and that's what you can see at the moment that's what you can see out of that mirror that. and that's what you can see out of that mirror and we're still fully locked as you can see in the panoramic panoramic so as soon as we start moving opposite lock follow it round both mirrors making sure your wheel your steering wheel doesn't go over the yellow line which is there in that panoramic mirror and we're coming close to it now now as you can see again we've come very close to the beacon so i'm not over the yellow line i'm just going to do a little bit more right and down just like so just to put a kink in to guide it away from the beacon and then keep checking both mirrors follow it back round and i've got a little bit of extra room to play with so now we just go back in a straight line adjusting if we need to straight back we're past the corn, left hand down, quarter turn if need be, you know, quarter turn. So it's following it round nicely. Stick my head out the window while there's a little kink in the trailer. And see where the trailer's going. It's not quite enough round, so I'm going to put a bit more turn on. What's that? A third? <laughs> Checking in both mirrors. I'm going to have a quick look now to see. We're coming round really nicely. So I'm going to follow it round, like so, and then straighten up. And go back. And the marker that I'm using is a marker that you won't be able to see, but I'll show you when I get out the next time. It's a little piece of tape in between the two wheels on the trailer. Your instructor will show you what mark it is to get it into the bay every single time it's a little piece of white tape that's just there and as soon as that touches the yellow line on the bay then we know we're in and that yellow line is the handbrake on into neutral engine off and we'll get out and we'll go and check
there you go. It is as simple as that. So that's the reversing manoeuvre. I hope I've taught you through it enough. We've done it twice, we've nailed it. It's really quite simple. Thank you for watching. I'll get back to you when I get back in the car in a minute. Right, so that was the reversing manoeuvre. I hope I covered it in enough detail for you and I hope you learned something from it and it settled your nerves a little bit. It's not difficult. I did it the first time that I was introduced to it. I did it first time. No issues, no dramas. It's not really a test of skill. It's just a test of procedure. So don't worry about it. Your instructor won't let anything go wrong. Um, if you overshoot or anything like that, I did on one of, the, one of my attempts. I got too bent, like so, and I was just pushing my trail around. I didn't cross any lines, so it wasn't a problem. Put your handbrake on, put it into drive, and straighten up. Go straight forward, as far as you want. Right back up to the top if you want to, and that is to the left as well. You can go straight up, and then just straight back, and there's no issues though with doing that. I have done that, and it's still a pass. There's no prizes for getting it in one go, so if you stuff it a little bit chill out don't worry about it and brake on put it into drive all round check straighten up and then back into the garage happy days and sorted i am a hgv vlogger if you like my content check out my other videos check out my vlogs i will be recording more in the future thank you so much for watching me give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you found it useful and i will see you all in the next video take care bye bye